to talk a little bit about the diaspora that I think is already occurring. You know, certainly I'm, I'm concerned about potentially uh, ISIL operatives coming into the United States. But as, when I take a look at the, the level of risk, whether it's through, through refugees, whether it's through the visa waiver program, or through an incredibly porous southern border, I, I would say I'm more concerned about our porous border. And Secretary Johnson, I just want to talk a little bit about the, the latest stats on uh, unaccompanied children and family units. Uh, you know, in 2014, uh, we held hearings, and in the news media, we were talking about this this surge, this humanitarian crisis. Uh, in, in 2014, there were 68,000 unaccompanied children that crossed the border. Uh, so far, in 2016, we're up to 54,000. In terms of family units, back in 2014, there were about 68,000 family units. We're already at 68,000 with a month to go. So we've certainly gotten more efficient at processing and dispersing, apprehending, processing, and dispersing. Let's face it, a lot of them just turn themselves in. My concern is because we have not stopped the flow or reduced the flow, because we still have enormous incentives for people to come into this country, we haven't succeeded in doing that. Uh, I'm concerned about the diversion of resources on the border, having to take care of what remains, I think, humanitarian crisis. Again, we just hats off to your agencies, the agencies. We've gotten better handling it, but we haven't stopped the flow. Can you just kind of talk about the, the concern you have of, of the southern sure. border being diverted, still working on these problems? Yes, sir. Um, the underlying push conditions in Central America still exist. The poverty and the violence in Central America still exist. FY15, the numbers of those apprehended on the southern border went down considerably. FY14, the total number was about 479. FY15, about 331. My projection for FY16 is that we'll come in at around 407, 408,000 apprehended on the southern border. Uh, that's a fraction of what it used to be, but it's still too high. And <clears throat> you're correct, Chairman, in that we've gotten better at processing the UACs in particular on the front end. We've added resources, but the push factors still exist. I am concerned about what we refer to as the special interest <laughs> alien that comes from the other hemisphere that turns up on our southern border. We don't see this very often uh, as a very small percentage of those who are apprehended on our southern border who are coming from the Middle East region. We now have in place systems to almost immediately investigate that person when we apprehend him. Uh, I have put in place a working group within my department over the last several months to work with uh, the law enforcement components of other governments in Central and South America to interdict these people before they get to our border uh, and to share intelligence about what we're seeing. Um, the, the smuggling organizations that focus on migrants from the Middle East are a relatively limited number. And so what we're doing and what I want to do more of is focus our law enforcement efforts on cooperating with the law enforcement uh, agencies of Central and South American governments to break these organizations up. Um, you, you began your question by um, referring to uh, migrants from the other hemisphere, and I think that that's a very legitimate concern, and we're focused on it. 